In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Bushnell Hybrid GPS rangefinder and talking about whether or not it's worth picking up. So what we're going to be covering in this video are my first impressions of the rangefinder, how it actually performed, what was the quality like, some pros and cons, and also the best place to buy. So if you just are looking for the best and cheapest place to pick it up, I will leave a link down below at the time of the video. That was the best place we could find it, so you can go ahead and check out the price if you want. But let's start my first impression. So I've tried a few of these hybrid rangefinders over the years and some of them have been kind of hard to use. Um, Bushnell is one of my favorite companies for like rangefinders and stuff. Um, I use their hunting rangefinders all the time. So I did have high expectations going in. So what I did like right away was that there were only five buttons on it and they were clearly marked and it was really simple to actually find your course and actually navigate through everything and had, had to actually use it. Um, there are over 36,000 courses pre-programmed in from around the world. Um, they're always adding more, which is nice to see. Um, and pretty much all the courses in my area that I generally go to were on it. So that was definitely um, nice to see and I'm sure Unless you're in some remote location, um, they're probably going to be on yours. There's no problem with that. But what does it actually do? And the laser rangefinder is pretty self-explanatory and works really well actually, um, like most Bushnell products. Um, what's cool about these devices is that it's going to show you the distance to the front and back of the green. As you can see in the picture there, um, if you are to look through the, uh, the scope and um, on the laser itself, it'll actually give you, you know, the distance to the target. And then it also give you the distance to the front and back of the green and also show you um you know the the part of the hole itself um that's a pretty cool thing to see because you get both um the, the the laser distance and also the um, gps distance as well which is really really cool and one of the things i also was glad to see was that it had jolt vibration on it which basically vibrated when you locked in on the target itself um definitely nice to see that and definitely is useful but was it actually you know fairly easy to use and i found it quite a bit easier to use than some of the other hybrid rangefinders on the market all you really had to do was turn it on select play golf and then pick a course you're on i was pretty simple to use and um, understand um the one thing that took a bit of playing around with was the bluetooth pairing with your phone to get course updates so if you want to get course updates you pretty much have to um you know through bluetooth connected to your phone the app there and then it will pretty much um, update, you know, new courses, that kind of thing. Um, it took a little bit um, to actually connect to it. I'm sure it's something that they're going to be working on and improving, but that was definitely one thing that I noticed that did take a little bit of time, um, you know, to fully understand and actually get to work. Um, but what I also like was that you could also press the red button, the red select button on there, and then it's going to show you the four closest hazards to you. So, you know, bunkers, um, creeks, um, ponds, um, pretty much all that kind of stuff. It'll show you the four closest ones to you. But how did it perform? So this is probably the most important part of a rangefinder because if it's not accurate, there's really no point in having one, but Bushnell is mainly a laser company. And just as, as I expected, um, their laser rangefinder was super accurate and always within about two yards of the course markers. The GPS wasn't always as accurate. Um, it definitely wasn't as accurate as some of the other GPS devices out there. Um, but it's definitely still useful to have. Um, other hybrid rangefinders, um, they aren't, aren't always as good in my opinion, um, like the, the GPS watches and the GPS handhelds. Um, generally, those are going to be a lot more accurate, but um, in terms of hybrid rangefinders with like the, the laser and the GPS, um, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't bad, you know, compared to other ones, um, but definitely wasn't as accurate as like a sole GPS device, um, but it's definitely is still useful to have. The Pros um, is one of the easier hybrid GPS's to use. Even if the battery for the GPS dies, you can still use the laser rangefinder. And then having both the laser and GPS is really convenient. Cons, the GPS data is not as accurate as some of the other GPS units on the market. It's a pretty expensive rangefinder and those are kind of the two main cons to it. The breakdown performance score will give it a 9, price score will give it a 7, quality score will give it a 9, my personal score an 8.5 which is definitely pretty solid so let's cover some frequently asked questions so does it come with a slope option at the time of the video it doesn't um but i have heard that they're working on it so i'm sure um you know fairly soon they're going to be rolling out with a slope version of this how long does the battery last so if you just use the laser um it'll last a few months um with the gps it'll last about two rounds okay so is it worth it take into account all that I would say if you're someone who currently uses or you want a laser and a GPS, 
um, I definitely recommend this hybrid since it's going to save you time and money. It's not perfect by any means, but I'm fully confident in Bushnell improving as time goes on. Um, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I definitely, um, you know, the laser was really accurate. Um, the GPS was fairly accurate. I um, definitely need some improvement there, but um, the quality was good. Performance was good. And um, yeah, it's not, it's not overly expensive, but the cheapest place I could find it is down below in the description. At the time of the video, that was the best place we could find it. So you can go ahead and check out the current price if you want. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I will just mention our monthly golf giveaway. So if you want to enter in, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and then comment giveaway down below. Simply do both and you'll be automatically entered. All right, so that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.